Hi, this is Ali Arango, Multimedia Designer, and today what I want to do is show you how to green screen or chroma key in Blender as an alternative to doing it in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so let's get started. Normally, uh, if you wanted to take somebody and have them be in a location that it would be hard for you to uh, shoot video in, uh, uh, if you wanted to, to have somebody and put them in front of the, the pyramids or... You know, it could even be a more normal situation where you want to put them on a, a city street, but you don't want to have to go through the, the hassle of, you know, dealing with any kind of permissions or anything you have to get. Um, the easiest way to, to deal with that situation is to take the person, video the person on top of a green screen, and then uh, put whatever background you in you want in. Normally, uh, the best option I would recommend is After Effects, and to be honest, I still would say After Effects is still the best option. Here's the beautiful thing. Now there is another option, and this option is actually very good, and uh, it's also free, which is pretty amazing, because normally if you wanted to do a very good job and have this scene look very uh, realistic... You pretty much would it used to be you would have to spend a thousand dollars on Adobe After Effects, and I think now there's some kind of deal where you spend uh, sixty dollars, I believe, and you pay sixty dollars a, a, a month to, to have some kind of membership from uh, Adobe for After Effects. Uh, however, with Blender, you can dodge all that, and uh, it's beautiful. So, what I want to do is just show you kind of how it works in After Effects, and then take you into Blender and show you pretty much how you can do a very similar job in there. Okay, the first thing you want to do in After Effects is import your footage. So basically here is the, the model shot on the green screen. And you want to, of course, import the location you want them to be in or whatever you want to be in the background. So here's that. Make sure that you're selected on the, uh, the green screen footage. Then go to Effect. Keying and key light. Okay, now what you're going to do is come to screen color. Click the screen color. You're going to click because it's green screening and I'm keying it. What I want to do is take away the green so you can see the background. So what you want to do is not just select the green. You want to select the green but kind of pull, see uh, which shade of green basically gives you the best uh, key. And just by pulling it along, it, it gives you a, a better feel of which green best matches to your, your green screen footage. All right, so now you can see right there, okay, you can see her there, you can see the background there, but you don't want to stop there. What you want to do is go to uh, your view in your uh, uh, After Effects, uh, effects uh, view, click and go to Screen Map. And basically what this does is this allows you to see how After Effects sees what should be solid and what should be transparent. So basically, if something is white in After Effects, it's solid. If something is black, it's transparent. If it's gray, it's somewhere in between. So basically, you do not want gray. So you can see the models here right here is uh, is gray. So what you want to do here is come down to... Uh, screen Map. And you're just going to go to Clip White. And this was one of the things that I was always like, wow, After Effects is so awesome. The fact that it has these little small adjustments. And you can see right here, it, it basically, when I moved that Clip White, it made that gray go away. So now you can see the white. So now this is actually solid, not transparent. Now you have these hard lit, hard uh, edges here, right? So you go to uh, Screen Softness. You know, kick that up a little bit. And then you can come back to... Uh, your final result, and you can see, you know, it looks fairly uh, decent. Uh, and then you can see, you know, as I uh, go through the timeline, You know, it looks fairly decent. You know, I, I didn't want to spend too much time on here. The main thing I wanted to do was show you the uh, the comparison between uh, After Effects and Blender. 
Uh, typically in After Effects, what you want to do also is you want to put a, a garbage mask on. So make sure you select your footage. Um, and then what you would do is just take your pen tool and draw your mask. And by basically by drawing this mask, what you would want to do is is just uh, the mask allows you to see just what you want to see. So that the things around uh, the, the model or however you, you shot in your, uh, your green screen you know, you don't have to worry about objects outside of camera view. And you can see, like, as I move here, screen capture slowing me down a little bit on this computer, that for the most part, those white lights are, are out there, right? Uh, one of the, the advantages and things that I, that I love about After Effects, and I thought that, yeah, it is great about After Effects, uh, uh, is you can animate that mask. So basically, if I come down to the mask uh, and I click Mask Path, Basically, what I can do, I mean, she is pretty uh, stable, doesn't move around too much here. But basically, what I can do is I can select the mask, drag it, and uh, I can have this, this mask animate to whoever or however I want it to anima animate. However it needs to be, the, the mask, I can fairly easily allow the mask, like her hand is coming out right there, I can fairly easily grab the mask and... You know, move it basically to where I need to, and you'll see as we go through, the mask will uh, animate as needed. Okay, here we are in Blender. Okay, what Blender is, is Blender is mainly a 3D modeling and animation program. However, Blender is a lot more than that, and hopefully that's what I'm going to show you here today. And uh, basically what you want to do when you come into Blender, click right here, uh, you're going to go to your movie clip editor. This is where most of your work is going to be done. Just like when we were in After Effects, the first thing you wanted to do is you wanted to uh, input your import your footage. So we're going to go to get our footage. Okay, so here's the, the footage that we want to key. And in Blender, it's a little bit the opposite of what I had showed you in uh, After Effects as far as, I guess, the order. What we're going to do now is we're going to just put a mask uh, that we can animate, just like in After Effects, uh, over the model here. And in, blend, in After Effects, we did that a little bit later. But how to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Tracking. You're going to click Mask. You're then going to click New. You're going to go over to the right a little bit. You're going to look for the mask layers, and you're going to click the plus symbol, which is going to give you your actual mask. Once you have that, depending on how you have your blender set up for your left button or your right button, on mine, I'm going to click uh, Control and uh, right click for me, just because I like to have blender set up, I guess, uh, like the Adobe programs. And uh, basically, once you draw your mask, what you're going to want to do is uh, close the mask by hitting Alt-C. And as far as having this mask be just like a mask that's in uh, After Effects, you're going to want this mask to be animated. So you come down here, what this is, this is the Blender Auto Key. So you click here, and what you'll see is that I can move the mask here, just so you can see an example, right? Then I'll click. And if I want to move the mask here, you'll see that just like After Effects, there that mask is animating. So basically, whatever footage you need, and one of the amazing things about After Effects is the fact that you can, you know, have a, you can basically in After Effects, you can have a green screen, you can have somebody walking down the street, have somebody literally walk up behind them with a, a, a green screen that's just big enough to, to uh, cover the, the person's body, all right? And then you can just mask out all the rest of it. Well, guess what? In Blender, you can do the same thing. And uh, that animated mask allows you to, d to do that. Here, just like in After Effects, I mean, she doesn't move that much, so it's not too necessary. But, uh, I mean, it's just it's amazing the fact that you can have an animated mask just like After Effects here in good old open source Blender. All right? Once you have the mask on here, now you want to take out the uh, green screen, again, like After Effects. So in Blender, what you're going to go is to this triangle here grab pull down this is going to split the view 
that's going to take you over to the uh, node editor. I mean, you sorry, you want to click node editor. This takes you here. You want to click use nodes, backdrop, and this render layers for the purposes of this video. We don't need this. So you're going to delete that. Again, this isn't going to be really in-depth as far as describing how to do this. The main thing I wanted to show you is just uh, the fact that you could come from After Effects and use Blender actually as an alternative to uh, the green screen or Chroma King effect in After Effects. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly just so you can uh, so you can see. So you want to have a composite node. You want to add a uh, viewer node. This will allow you to see. You're then going to add a uh, output node. Whoops. Uh, sorry, input node of a uh, movie clip. You're going to want an uh, uh, image, image node for the background effect. You're going to want to put a... Uh, go to the store, grab two scale nodes to make sure that the scale was right. Um, here's the main thing right here that you're, you definitely want is... a. Uh, you want your keying node. An effect that I was using in After Effects is uh, called key light. Generally, key light is, for the most part, uh, that's going to be your first go-to thing in After Effects, the green screen. And one of the things nice about key light is key light just allows you to do a lot of small adjustments to make your footage look real or, you know, just fine-tune it. And one of the things here, as I zoom in on this uh, this keying node in Blender, it doesn't have everything that key light has, but it is amazing what it, it does have. Uh, and with green screening and uh, After Effects and Blender, I mean, there's many ways of doing these different things. This is this is my version. Again, my my uh, goal here is just to show you uh, what you can do in After Effects. Uh, I mean, what you can do in Blender as uh, opposed to uh, After Effects or using it as an alternative to After Effects. So you have your uh, so far we have the your movie clipped your your which is going to be your green screen footage, your image which is going to be your background, your scale to make sure that they. Uh, come out the way you want your king note which is going to be your main uh thing that takes out your green screen you're then going to want to have a mixed node in blender the uh, mixed node allows you to uh composite the two scenes together and then uh should be i believe the last thing you're going to want is your actual uh mask all right so what you're going to do and blender knows you already sat here and you put in this window here you have your movie in there so most of the time the way blender works it will remember so here is the movie clip editor so what i'm, I'm going to do is click this triangle here and there's my movie clip right there all right now i'm going to want to bring in the background the same background that we used in after effects i'm going to have to come in and uh get that so this four view here in blender will allow you to actually see what the the pictures are in your files so here's the city background Okay, so now that we have that, we should be pretty good to go. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your uh, your movie clip. You're going to go for, want to go up from your output movie clip to the input image of King. And then what you're going to want to do is, uh, at first, so you can see what's going on, is uh, you're going to grab this King and you're going to go over to Viewer. All right, to make this image smaller, you hit the V key. I believe it's V to go down, and uh, I think it's it's Alt V to go back up. And basically, in Blender, the white is automatically keyed out. You're going to want to grab, uh, go for green, and pull to see what green gives you your best key. And again, keying just pulling out the color out of the background. That looks pretty good. Uh, very similar to uh, After Effects. You don't want to just... Uh, you know, grab and say, oh, it looks good. You, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is be able to look at After Effects. You looked at a screen mat and awesomely in uh, Blender, you just hit on your keyboard, hold Control Shift, click King, and there you go. You can see your very similar to After Effects. Your, your uh, black is totally transparent. Your white is totally solid. And then your gray is in between. You don't want in between. You want the person that you're, you have in front of the green screen to be totally solid. So... Very similar to After Effects, what you're going to do is you're going to get a clip white, dial it back, and then you can see now the most of the gray has gone away. Uh, for here, I'm just going to throw in a 
cream blur one and then you have a little bit of the edge sharp edge here very similar again the after effects you're just going to click feather it a little bit all right so now we're going to hold control shift on the keyboard and click again and now you can see okay there's the uh the key to footage there so now what i want to do is i'm going to actually disconnect this from the viewer lower decks we really don't need that right now no. make this a little bit bigger so you can see All right now what you want to do is you're going to want to uh, disconnect this the, the king note from the viewer go back to your movie clip take your your both your scale nodes and turn them to uh, render size All right, so you're going to run your movie clip through your scale node. You're going to go run that back into the image input. You're then going to grab your mix node and you're going to go from your out of your king node image into the bottom image of your mix node. You're then going to take your image or background image, grab from the output image node on there into the input on the mix node. That's one of the beautiful things about video. If you get lost, if I'm going kind of fast, you can just pause the video and, and hopefully you'll be able to see uh, pretty clearly uh, you know what, where these nodes are and what they're doing. All right, so then you're just going to go right from your image to your uh, your viewer. And uh, once you have that, uh, right here, this footage was uh, 1280 by 720. You can go to your render presets, change it so it, it matches up your footage. And when I click this uh, transparency panel here, you can see there goes the blue screen. I mean, my uh, mask isn't perfect. You can see the light right there. But basically, I need this compositor here also. Uh, I'm going to go to the, the mix node. I'm going to run this into the composite so I can actually see the video. And basically, what's going to happen now when I click render image, you can see very similar to After Effects. Oops. Very similar to After Effects, here is uh, the footage with the, the, the background taken out. All right, so here's your, your light and stuff is still in there. So how do you do that? All you're going to do is you're going to click on your mask node. And again, remember how uh, Blender remembered uh, your movie? It remembers the fact that you put a mask on there. So you click at the uh, downward angle. You should see your mask. Now you're just going to take this, input this into the mix factor. And now, there you go. So again, uh, I mean, After Effects is an awesome program. After Effects is, is one of the main industry standard programs. However, uh, it's just a nice thing to know that there is an alternative to After Effects. I mean, if you're in a situation where you're working on a project and you have After Effects, you know, go ahead and use it. Uh, however, imagine you're in a situation where you have you know, multiple things that have to be done. You have multiple people that uh, are just basically good in design. They can remember things quickly. You can sit there and grab Blender. I mean, my gosh, if you have five computers, you can put Blender on all five computers, and you can do a pretty close job to After Effects. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, I know when I learned this, I was very pleased. Hopefully this pleases you. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching the tutorial. And, uh, Come back, subscribe to check out uh, for more uh, tutorials in the future. Thanks, guys.